Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be making a treadmill for my wheelchair. Let's see how this goes. Hi guys, you join with me in the uh, the mud hut. This is where all of my great ideas come to pass. Today we're going to be working on a rollers for my wheelchair because I'm sick of this isolation and I want to push my wheelchair. So. Hopefully by the end of the day I'm going to be able to have a push around in my wheelchair and get some good exercising. This is my design. It's going to have angle putting on the side, screw bar running through, going to have a larger pipe that the screw bar threads through which will turn freely and hopefully that's going to give us enough resistance with two side by side to be able to push without it moving too much. But Trial and error, we'll see what happens. All I'm hoping to use is some M12 bolts, some screw bar, a bit of, uh, well, I think that's about inch pipe, some 50 by 50 angle, and a little bit of flat bar. So hopefully this can make it for me. First thing I want to work out is how to stop the wheel from touching down on the floor and where our holes need to be. So if that's where how far to the floor I need it to be. If I just draw a line, to mark out roughly where that wheel is, I can make sure that my circles are there and there roughly. So I need to cut off this bit. Right, so once I've got the holes drilled in this, I need to work out what distance I have between the two to fit the roller in. So I don't think we're going to need too much, maybe six inch max, something like that. Here we go. So once we've done that, I'm going to measure this gap in between here, cut a bit of the flat bar to go in between, and then we can start assembling. Oh, and I need to cut this, this round tube. Once I've assembled it, all I need to do is I need to weld on here and here, both sides, so it doesn't distort, and I need to cut the pipe to go in between these uh, rollers. Then hopefully the wheel will sit inside this area, and I should be able to turn. Let's go. <laughs> Well, this together now. There we go. All right, so the first prototype's done. If you can see it, we're going to uh, get the other one knocked off, and then I'll test it out. Moment of truth. Back to the drawing board. So the first one didn't quite work, I keep rolling off. So what we're gonna try and do is rather than have it set up like this, we're going to tilt it up at the front so that we don't roll the chair off the front of it. See if that works. Here we go. I'm happy with that. So now it's going to be at a tilt like this, so hopefully we won't push off the front end. Let's test it again. I need to go shopping, so if this doesn't work, we're going to have to come back again tomorrow. I'm happy with that. I'm probably just going to change it so. Rather than sitting on the floor square like that, I'm just going to try and tilt it that way to match my camber. That way the wheels aren't going to slide across. Hopefully that works. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I never did a sign off when we was at the 
in in the workshop. But um, we're going to go back tomorrow, see if we can sort them roll this out, and uh, we're going to see if we can work out an easier way of doing it. So you might be able to make one yourself, maybe one with a wood base and some different kind of rollers. I'll uh, brainstorm it a little bit. Though. See you next time.